Hey guys, it's Lolo. Um, just wanted to say hi to you guys. Really excited. I, um, as part of my let it go, let it go, let it go, um, movement for myself, um, you know, do my best, take my multivitamin, take the other stuff I've talked about, um, try new things like Soylent, um, go to the gym when I can, which has been about, let's be honest, two times a week. I've been super busy with work stuff, and it doesn't look like it's going to get uh, really any easier until the end of next week. Um, but uh, in the spirit of trying to let go of some of the emotional baggage, I stopped weighing myself. Um, I realized, and I was talking this over with my parents last night when, when we went out to dinner, um, that I was really, I don't think people knew this, I was really starting to obsess over the number. Obsession. Um, it would be constantly in my thoughts, how much do I weigh today? How much am I going to weigh tomorrow? What if I gain two pounds? What if I lose two pounds? what is this going to do for me? What if I eat this? What if I, what if I don't eat this? Um, and then when the number would go up on the scale, um, logically I would know it could be because I was gaining muscle mass because I was doing weights. Um, it could have been because I was retaining more water depending on the time of the month it was. Um, all of these logical things would go through my mind, but I would still completely obsess over it. And then that would lead to, if I, the number did go up, and I was super disappointed, it would lead to why am I not doing better, you know, self-recrimination, blame, guilt, um, then binge eating, and then feeling guilty about binge eating, and then going back on a starvation diet or something, like, wasn't working for me. Um, as much as I was trying to eat healthy and just stay on a path, it really wasn't. That was about a month ago, so I stopped weighing myself. I just let it go. Please refer back to the beginning of the video when I saying let it go a little bit, just a little bit. Disney, please don't sue me. Copyright infringement, whatever. Um, so I really did try to, to leave that behind and just live my life. Just eat good and try to feel better about myself. And if my clothes fit better, that's great. If I had more energy, great. And um, try, just try to do my best and huh, let it go. So I did that. Um, and then... About two days ago, I was like, oh God, I need to bite the bullet. I need to know where I'm at. As much as you want to say a number doesn't matter, ultimately it does matter because you want to lose body fat. Um, and just trying to focus on living your life doesn't do it sometimes. So it's like, you know, it's probably going to be awful. I know it's going to be awful. Let me just go ahead and hop on it anyways. So I hopped on my scale. I use the same scale, by the way. I do not use my friend's scale and then my coworker scale and then the scale of the doctor and then my bathroom scale. I don't do that. I use one scale. Um, and I find that because different makes and models and also depending on if you put it on carpet, all of these things affect your number. Um, so if you use the same one in the same spot every single time, you have, even if it's not technically accurate, you know that it's Oh God, my husband is a, t a teacher and he knows these terms. Um, even if it's not accurate, it's still something. Fill in blank here. SAT people, can you help me out here? Um, basically, so it doesn't matter if in actuality you weigh five pounds more, but you're going to know if you lost or gained weight because the numbers will be on the same scale. I totally didn't explain that right. This sucks. Okay. Anyway, so I use the same scale. Well, let's move on. Um, so I weighed myself and I was like, this number is not right. <laughs> it's not right. So I actually moved the scale to a different part of my kitchen. And because it's linoleum, it's a flat surface. So I always use it. Um, and I got on it and it was the exact same. Then I moved it to the bathroom, which is also linoleum. And uh, it actually went down like 0.2 pounds. So I was like, okay, I guess this is my number. And the reason I was shocked is because it was 20 pounds less than what I was about a month ago. Um, and I was, I'm still shocked. I'd weigh myself the next day and of course I went up a pound, but um, day to day 
one, two pound ups or downs don't really mean anything to me because it could have been anything. It could have been because I drank more water or it could have been because I was stressed and had half a bag of Skittles. I don't know what caused that. Probably the half bag of Skittles, if I'm going to be honest with everybody. But I was beyond excited and I weighed myself today and I was down another two pounds. So um, maybe the lesson in this for me, comment if you feel differently, maybe the lesson for me is it's okay to just live your life. And if you know you're trying to do the best and you know your occasional donut in the morning or your occasional small thing of fries and um, a, a cheeseburger, um, ultimately don't mean much in the scheme of things if 95% of the time you're eating well and it's not, not a lot of fat and it's water instead of soda and it's having a full breakfast instead of just coffee. Um, maybe, maybe that's the whole point of this is just living your life and, um, just trying to do your best for yourself. So who knows? My parents saw me, oh, uh, well, I see my parents every, every few days, so it doesn't make much difference. They didn't see a difference too much. I'm noticing a, dis a difference. My husband is no noticing a difference. I have a another month or so. When is Memorial Day? Can you tell me? Probably not, because you're not going to watch this until I post it, and I'll look it up before then. But basically, I have until Memorial Day to get down to another dress size. Um, and it kind of feels like it's in my grasp. Uh, I've been stuck at the same weight for quite some time now, and I actually weigh less now than what I was at my wedding two years ago. So that feels really good for me. Um, that I was stuck in this rut for so long and trying to do my best, but was stuck in that yo-yo just back and forth with guilt and binging and referred to earlier in this video for that story. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, say I guess it can be done. And maybe I'll rewatch this video in two or three months and go, wow, I can't believe I was surprised that it works. It's just diligence and self-reflection and again, tinkering with everything because I finally, <laughs> finally after so long feel like I have a combination of really good things for me in conjunction with speaking to your doctor, speak to your doctors, people. That's what they're there for. In conjunction with all of that, um, I really feel like it's starting to come together. I might've found something that works for me because we're all little special individual snowflakes. So, um, what works for me may not work for you and what works for you would maybe not work for me. So just do your best, keep trying, and hopefully I'll have another update for you guys soon. Um, I do have my Ipsy coming really fast. I need Ipsy. Attention Ipsy. Stop emailing me and telling me what's going to be in my April bag. Okay. I need you to stop it. It's a part of the whole surprise for me is that it's going to be a surprise. So stop emailing me. We're going to tell you everything that's in your April Ipsy bag. Stop it. Okay. Okay. So anyways, um, I Ipsy, uh, if you could, you know, in the course of not watching this video, cause you don't know who I am, please stop sending me emails. That would be great. I would hate to have to unsubscribe to your email list because I actually do enjoy some of your emails. But you're making it very difficult for me to live this life. Okay, so that's it. Um, uh, I'll probably post another video tomorrow, maybe the next day, because I wanted to talk about um, Posh, Perfectly Posh. Anybody know about that? Um, my friend sells it. She got me hooked on it. I've been hooked on it for about a year and a half now. Um, yeah, because my sister started using it first and then I found out one of my friends sells it. So I buy from her now directly and, um, I just got one of my samples from her and I am beyond excited. So I'm going to try this with you guys and then I'm going to walk you through some of the products that I have from them. And then some of them are discontinued, but the premise is still there. Usually they will stop one cent and then pick up the same product just as a different scent. So the product itself does not change just the scent of it. So I'll talk about how they work and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So thanks so much everybody who watches. Um, 
apparently, shout out to South America. I've got a South America person out there who watched at least one of my videos, so holla! Um, it's supposed to rain where I am in California, so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't flood my back porch again because our drainage system is not up for this El Nino weather. So, anywho, I hope everyone's doing good. Comment if you're not, and we'll work it out, and I guess the thing I want to say, and I know the people at my gym think I'm weird because I high five random people and if I see someone struggling I'm like you can do it keep going yeah so I feel like we're all really in this together there's no I lost 20 pounds and you haven't so good luck there's no... it's not that we're all a community I feel like the thought of being fat because <laughs> let's face it I'm not a skinny bitch but let's just say um I felt like the community for people who are larger and who just want to be healthier, not necessarily skinny, is not very supportive. So we're all in this together. And if you've got struggles, message me. Let's work it out. Uh, I'd love to be a sounding board for anyone else who feels like they can't do it. I really feel like talking about this is helping me. And it's much cheaper than a, than a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Let's keep it real. So I hope everyone's doing good. And... Um, Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, okay? Lolo out. Bye.